camera action. The models were beautiful, the clothes were beautiful, and the audience loved it. But what, you ask, is the editor of one of America's top fashion magazines, Gentleman's Quarterly, doing at a J.C. Penney fashion show? What is this man doing wearing a J.C. Penney jacket? I have on a Penney's garment, and, 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 and again, to be candid, I never had one on before. Penney's brought Jack Haber to its Dallas Preston Wood store to show America that it means business without entering the high fashion business. And what is the well-dressed man wearing this fall? Well, if you have a limited budget, Haber says, just make sure you have these four items in your closet. A pinstripe suit in navy or gray, a crew neck sweater, a pleated pant to add a little pizzazz, and a navy blazer. The average price of these penny suits is $175. There were just jeans and, of course, men for the ladies tonight, but Penny's says there's more to come. Halston is doing a private line for the Penny's Lady next fall. And McGarry, Channel 5 Action News. Oh, he isn't even jolly and round. In fact, on most days, he wears a sports coat and tie. But for 73-year-old Percy Ross, you don't have to wear red and white to be Santa Claus. Good for you. How old are you, young man? Seven. You're seven? Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Okay. Two for you, what do you say? Shake my hand. Ross is a multi-millionaire. He gives away his money. Well, not all of it, but a pretty large chunk to anyone who's genuinely in need. He says, of course, he gets some requests that are far-fetched. But if it's a reasonable amount of money, anything from, say, $100 to 1000 if I think it'll make a difference in their lives, I'm just going to give it to them. Ross gave away more than $2,000 today, most of it over the airways of a local radio show. Why not? I can afford it. What's more, Mr. Ross has a column called, appropriately enough, Thanks a Million, which appears in over 250 newspapers nationwide. Beginning this Sunday, the column will start appearing in a Dallas newspaper. You can write to his column, and if you legitimately need his help, you can count on him. I mean, you kind of wonder what, what's going on, you know? Like somebody walks up to you hands you, you know, money, kind of look at him like, hey, what is this? I've never met anyone else like him, if there is. That's for you for Christmas. Tomorrow, Mr. Ross will be on hand at Prestonwood to give his signature silver dollars as to anyone who puts a toy into one of these charity toy boxes for kids. I get a lot of pleasure out of helping people. I have more than I need for myself, Larry, and... Um, I enjoy making a difference in people's lives. Larry Mullins, Texas News 5. Members have a joke these days. If you haven't been to North Dallas in a week, you've probably missed a new building. The development is everywhere. First there was Prestonwood Mall, then Sackowitz Village. Now there's constant construction in every direction. This buildup is good for the economies of Addison and North Dallas, but it's not so good news for the people on the streets. It's getting terrible. You have to leave 40 minutes just to get to a 20-minute run. It's murder. It's murder. All day. All day it's murder. This area is turning into a big traffic jam. And even though there's constant road construction and expansion plans, city officials say traffic is their number one enemy. As soon as we complete the projects that are underway right now, we're going to have to turn around and relook at the whole situation and make some long-term plans. In a little more than a year, the Galleria Hotel and Shopping Center will be open for business. Developers tell me they're confident that the city will accommodate the additional traffic here. And city officials are beginning to like the looks of expensive construction like this because they'll need it to help pay for the street expansions in the future. Jane Boone, Channel 5 Action News, North Dallas. No one is rushing to the Prestonwood Five. The film The Empire Strikes Back is attracting audiences, some pickets, and a few vandals. Sunday morning, for the second time in two weeks, vandals broke into the lobby. They attacked a security guard with a fire extinguisher, broke a pinball machine, and damaged two movie screens with large gashes. $4,500 damage. Manager Sherry Tobias says it's related to a stink bombing two weeks ago. Uh, we're pretty sure that it's the same people because the first week uh, a terrible stink bomb was let in the theater and after last night's incident the same smell you know, was here. So two smoke bombs, two stink bombs were let in the theater. So we're pretty sure that they are related. Both new bus routes will start at the Martin Luther King Center and run north. One up the tollway to Prestonwood Center, the other along Denton Drive to LBJ. 
Here along Denton Drive in northwest Dallas, there are a tremendous number of companies. And it would seem logical that this part of town would be the source of many jobs, both skilled... Clark hopes to find a job as an electrical assembler. But the way it looks right now, most of the jobs available in far north Dallas appear to be for restaurant employees. Bob Letter, Channel 5 Action News, Dallas.